How we doing? Good, good to see you. Okay, everybody. Thank y'all for coming. Thank y'all for waiting on me. That's for sure. The briefing took a little longer because one of us runs our mouth too much. But uh, Elizabeth, please come up and do your thing. Tell us about everything, okay? Why don't you talk there? Look, look, it's a, it, you may not, you may not think this, but uh, I'm the guy that has always been the person that believes that West Virginians want me to tell them the truth. They don't want me to be a politician with them. They want me to just tell them the truth. I would tell you guys just this, your credibility your trust that you perpetuate to others is so important. So important, it's unbelievable. You know, this day and time, <clears throat> I hate to say it, but it's really true, but uh, we've become a society in a lot of ways that it doesn't really matter what's right and wrong. All that really matters is what you can get by with a lot of times. Well, if you think that way, probably not a good, a good way to think. That's all there is to it. Now, if you just think of the words that Elizabeth just said, or you just think of the incredible work of the Chamber Foundation that they're doing, and from my standpoint, I got a great big check here to give and everything that's going to maybe make things possible, you know, in a lot of ways, maybe even for you guys. But now, let me just tell you just a couple of things. My dad would have said so many times to me that there's only one thing in your life that nobody will ever be able to take from you. There's only one thing. And you may think, well, what in the world is that all about? And really and truly, he would have said, the only thing that nobody can take away from you is your education and everything. Because once you've got that, you've got something that nobody can take. Nobody can take. You know, the second thing that I would tell you is this. You know, do, do several of you, you know enough about baseball or softball to know a little bit about the game of baseball. Do you know, do you know that? Okay. Now, what if I were to say to you just this? And you've already displayed, you know, the fact that you can, can absolutely perpetuate yourself all through life. But what if I were to say to you just this? <clears throat> Your team is one run ahead. You know, the game, let's say the game is six to five and you're ahead, okay? And the, the other team is batting, and this is their last inning, their last bats, okay? You with me up to there? Your team's one run ahead, and you're on second base, or you're out in right field. And you're pounding your glove like people do. And you're chattering to the pitcher because the pitcher's getting ready to throw the pitch. And the bases are loaded. And there's two outs. And the count on the batter is 3-2. If you watch me coaching, even tonight, I'll be coaching right down here at South Charleston and really and true at the end of the day, you know, if the game's on the line, you'll, be here, you'll hear me screaming, the count's 3-2. Now, this applies to each and every one of you in every way. The 
The count on the batter is 3-2. The bases are loaded. There's two outs. And the, and, the bat, and the pitcher's turning back like this to turn the ball loose. Now, you're on second base. Or you're out in right field. And you're pounding your gloves. Are you saying to yourself, please, Lord, don't let them hit me the ball? Because if I screw this up, we're going to lose the game. If you're pounding your glove saying that, I would tell you that you're going to have a tough, tough time in this life being really successful. You know, we all screw up. Do you not realize that? Oftentimes, you're going to get the ball hit to you and you're going to screw it up. But you've already started this process. You have got to be pounding your gloves saying, hit me the ball. I'll make the play. I want the ball. When it, it's all on the line, hit me the ball. I'll make the play. If you'll do that in your life, you go a long ways. If you're not going to do that, it's probably going to be pretty tough. If you stand there all the time and say, oh, don't hit me the ball, I, you know, I'll screw it up. Well, you better find out something else to do. You're going to do so much greatness, it's unbelievable. You're here today. Absolutely, Elizabeth, this absolute organization is unbelievable what they do, and they do for all of us, all the time. For crying out loud, it's all of us. You know, I just saw a picture there that came up of Baby Dog. You know, how many of you know Baby Dog? And you better, a bunch of you, put your hands up, okay? All right, now, think about this. I would br have brought her with me in a second. She's at the ornament ceremony over here about two weeks ago. She jumped out of the chair. And my gosh, we've had a time. I mean, a blooming time. She's hurt. She's dragging around her back legs and everything. And, I, and she, I just can't get her back on her feet. But she's really hurting. So say a big prayer at this time of year for her and everything. Because she is, she's really something. She loves all y'all more than you'll ever know. I mean, she loves everybody. It's the beatingest thing I've ever seen in my life. You know, a bulldog that loves everybody and everything. And the other thing that'll make you laugh is just this. Think about me rolling over in the middle of the night, three o'clock in the morning, and I roll over and I feel this thing just bump. And I open my eyes and there's a baby dog's face right there. I mean, a half inch from my nose. And I say, how you doing, baby dog? <laughs> and but she's really good. Now look, the other thing I'd tell you is this, and then I'll shut up. God gave you the ability to smile and to laugh. And this journey is going to be plenty tough. It's not going to get easier. No matter what you do, it's not going to get easier. Some of you are going to end up with white hair and everything. Believe it or not, I was really, really skinny at one time. And I grew another body and everything. But with all that being said, the journey's tough, but I really believe God wants it to be that way. He wants to test you all the time to just see how good you really are. And I know you're absolutely great. So, Elizabeth, let me give you a great big check, and then I want all y'all, well, I want all y'all to come up here right now. Okay? You all are the ones that this is for, so you all hold Now, I'm going to move this. Y'all got to help me out. We got to move this desk. Ah. Okay. Gosh, now some of you get over here on this other side and help me hold. All right, that's perfect now. This is, this, this check, this check is just a million dollars now. Now, what about this young lady? 
Get over here, Nadia. No, Nadia, you get over here beside me. You got to scoot over just a little bit. Nadia, get over here. You got to hold it. All right, there you go. Now you got to do your thing again. Okay. Listen, I'm really proud of all of you. Go do good stuff, and I know you will. Go do greatness, for crying out loud. Shoot for the moon, and then some, okay? All right, go do it. Elizabeth, this is yours. Uh, this is theirs. This is all for them. Uh, okay. They're the ones who make this work, and it, if it weren't for their program specialists leading the way uh, and giving these young people the opportunities that they are, uh, I don't know where we'd be, but I'm sure grateful for them, and I'm grateful for all of our wonderful students. Uh, mm. So thank you so much for this. No, it's good. It's good stuff. Really good. Really, really good. You. And you're right. You know, the folks that are working with y'all and you want to stay working with you, it's unbelievable. It's good, good, good plan. These students are on their way to successful lives, and they are doing oh, yeah. a lot of great community service work, and they are finding that they have a piece in their community, and they are invested in their community. So it's incredible. Well, I love it. I love it. So go do it, okay? All right. All right, we're out of here, okay? Thank you. All right, thank y'all. Thank y'all.